we're going to go and what I've done, we ain't enough hours in the day, we're not going to go through the custard recipe. But uh, unfortunately last night I got called into the city of Kingsport about four o'clock. We had trees down, if y'all know the storm. And so I ended up working about 10 o'clock and then come home and made homemade custard. So you'll see on that recipe there the basic mi mixture and how you go about making that custard. And maybe Leslie has somebody else or me or whatever come back and sort of show you that. Um, but what we're gonna do to, right now is kind of go through the different uh, stuff you can add to it. So you have this basic mixture that we use and we have put in the ice cream machine and frozen up. And you can go to Walmart, Food City here, I'm sure they have the little mixes that you can just make homemade ice cream with, not go through all the custard. I just love the homemade custard. And so you can see my procedure there for doing that. But what we're going to do is take the fruit mixture here, and what we're going to do is get uh, some butter in the pan, get it melted, and then we're going to take Granny Smith apples, and I went ahead and cut those up. Put a little lemon juice on, hopefully they'll hold for us a little bit. And what we're going to do is take and put them in this pan once it gets a little warmth, and butter melts, and get them cooking. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a whole can of caramel, Smucker's caramel, and we're gonna dump it right in the ice cream mixture. Okay, that might make it just a little bit rich, but it never bothered me. So we're gonna put that right in there, and then we're gonna turn it back on just for a few minutes and let it mix in with it, it and the apples and the cinnamon and stuff we're doing. So we're gonna put that one jar sort of in there. Now if you're like my daughters, I brought another jar, Leslie, no, she, where's she at? I think she left. I stuck another jar, so if you want more, you can pour it on there when we're done. Okay, that's the way my daughters do. And the way we're going to get the spice in this is with the cinnamon. Okay, and once again, you can adjust this as much or as little as you want. If my daughter that is, um, she's with a Tennessee Baptist traveling team doing mission work, she don't like cinnamon, so for her, I'll even leave it out. And what we're going to do is get the butter melted. We're going to put these Granny Smith apples in there, and we're not going to cook them till they're real soft but we want them just to kind of pick up that flavor of the butter and soften just a little bit. So they're not, and one reason I do this is when you put it in there, you ever get ice cream and it has those frozen pieces in there? And if you're like me, you got the sensitive teeth. When you bite into that strawberry ice cream, it's got that strawberry in it, it just kind of goes all the way down to your toenails, you know? So what, what we're trying to do there is just basically get these cooked up a little bit to where they uh, get the butter mixed in. So those will take just a second here. What we're going to do is take those apples, we're going to throw in here at the ice cream mixer. We're going to put the lid back on it, and we're going to plug it in just for a little bit, just to get all the apples, the caramel, and all that other mixed in together. Now it's going to melt it a little bit, but I like mine. You can ask my wife, if I got ice cream at home, what do I do, honey? I take it out and put it in the microwave, okay? <laughs> mix it up, put stuff in it, mix it up, put, put it in the microwave. So. That's what I tend to do. All right, I believe that's mixed enough. We're gonna turn that off and we'll let it sit there a minute and get all good. They're still just a little runnier than I normally make them. But we'll get them out where they can cool just a little bit. We'll leave the other one in here and let them bake a little longer. Yeah, one, one thing I do is, and, and like I said, once again, it depends on how many people we have over or how big ears you have, but you can put this back into the freezer, let it harden up, and you can eat it for quite a while, okay? Uh, and uh, the basic mixture that we made, you can experiment with anything. My, one of the favorite ones I do, and maybe we do some other time, is a honey apricot and almond that goes in it. And it's the exact same basic mix, mixture, you just add the, the, the other ingredients to it as the finish, like I did there. So once you get that basic mixture, you can make about anything you want.